Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating these beautiful candle holder Christmas and floral centerpiece decor items using supplies purchased from the Dollar Tree. These pieces are so glamorous, but super easy to make. Please see the description box below for the supplies and tools used to create this project. I can't wait to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current and new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create beautiful DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new tutorial is ready to share with you. So now let's jump into the project. The supplies you will need are two of these treble bowls for one for each arrangement, hurricane wine glasses, some floral and accent items for your arrangement. I've got here some pine cones and I've got some silver sprigs can use any kind of floral decor that you like. You'll also need some green trim for the filler. We'll need a few packs of these silver picks. Some silver glitter ribbon. Some diamond wrap. and a votive candle. I've got one with a mercury glass look. So now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our green garland and we're gonna cut off a length of about 25 inches or so for each bowl. I wanted my garland to have a frosted effect so I took it out and I sprayed it randomly in spots with white spray paint. While that dried, I grabbed my travel bowls and I removed all the labels. Then I took them out to spray paint them as well. I'm using a silver spray paint and I applied two coats to each of the bowls. Here are the bowls, fully dry and ready to work with. Now slide one of the bowls to the side and we're going to start shaping our garland. Now I'm going to use the frosted one for this arrangement. So as you can see, the garland is kind of flat and shapeless. So in order to bulk it up, I'm going to tie a few single knots along the strand. There we go, much better. Now in order to give the hurricane glass some height, I grabbed a few scrap pieces of wood and I glued them together to make a total height of about one and a half inches. I also adhered some hook and loop Velcro to each side so the glass and wood can be removable in case you wanted to use an empty bowl for another purpose. So what we're going to do is we're gonna glue one side of the block to the bottom of the bowl, and we're gonna start with applying E6000, and then we're gonna follow up with that with some hot glue. Press that firmly into place. Then we're going to add E6000 and hot glue to the top of the block on top of the Velcro. Then take your hurricane glass and purse that firmly on top.
Now that that's set, it's time to decorate. I have a variety of items here from the Dollar Tree, the thrift store, and clearance that I'll be using for my project. First of all, what we want to do is to go ahead and tuck your garland around the glass. This should fit pretty snug and shouldn't require any glue. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through my assortment of embellishments just to give you an idea of what I am working with. So now what I'm doing here is I'm just going to go ahead and start arranging them on the greenery. To secure them, I'm just going to put a small dab of hot glue to hold them in place. But if you want this to be a more permanent arrangement, please feel free to use more. Now this is the point in your project where you can really let those creative juices flow. And you can pick and choose whatever you like to customize it to your liking. And here's my arrangement all put together. Now what I want to do is add trim to the bowl. I wanted to stick with a silver theme so I have this glitter ribbon, some diamond wrap, and some silver picks. Here I'm just trying these out to see what I might like to go with. And yes, I think I'm gonna go with the silver picks on this one. So here I wanna show you how I cut and attach those silver picks. Now using a wire snipper, we're gonna cut off the fork portion and repeat this with the entire pack of picks. To apply these easier to the bowl, what I did was cut a long piece of this clear packaging tape. Then I took my picks and started placing them on top of the packaging tape, laying them out evenly. And here is what they'll look like. Now to apply the strip of picks, you can apply hot glue and E6000 to the outside of the bowl, and then lay your strip with the pick side facing down and secure it in place. Now when that glue dries, you can remove the tape. And here will be the result. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this look with a mercury glass looking votive candle, but you can use any kind that you like. There you go. Now here are the options of the bowl with the glitter ribbon and the diamond wrap. I think both of them look fabulous. And here is the completed project. You guys, this arrangement turned out so nice. Now, I love the fact that I made it in a way where you can change up the florals and you can actually use this year round if you like. The great thing about this is if you want to remove the glass or the florals, you can just snatch out that greenery and detach the block easily because remember, it's a Velcro strip down there. Then you can use the empty bowl for your vanity, your counter, or any way that you wish. 
This project is super easy and I hope that you could take this idea and make a holiday arrangement as well. It was so much fun to create. Listen, if you enjoyed this project, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you would do to customize this arrangement for your home. Thank you again for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.